I'm the man to be Trevor. I've got so much more experience than him. I think David and his team, I think, have made a massive mistake. He's athletic. He's good. He's strong. He's tough. I'm a dog, man. But we're professional fighters, and at this point, you have to bring more to the table than being tough. Everybody's tough. Watching David's old fights and stuff, I, I, I've, I've seen a, a little bit of quit in there. If you've got even a little bit in there, I'm going to find it, and I'm going to expose it. I see this fight playing out, you know, very, very aggressive in the beginning. You go in there with me, you know, you better be ready not to come out of there. He was going to come at me strong, kind of be in my face, which, you know, I'm prepared for that. They're going to have to, they're going to have to call me out of there, get me out of there. If i got a quit tonight, it, it ain't David, obviously. And as the fight goes on, I believe you're going to start to see a difference in the skill set. They're trying to use me as a stepping stone. I'm not the guy that you want to try to use to catapult your career. I'm the guy that, that, that puts you back a few, a few months, if not a year or two. To beat me, it's going to take somebody on a big organization. It's going to take one tough motherfucker. I feel like this fight should be recognized nationally. David's number one pound for pound in Tennessee. I'm number two pound for pound in Alabama. Right now, I'm on fire. This is my time. I've held myself down. Everybody knows the story from the last two years. And uh, the only person that stopped me is me, and now I'm ready to shine and show what I'm capable of. They call David Ruthless, and I, all I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is if, uh, if you want to say Ruthless, come January 7th, and I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll show you guys what Ruthless really is.